Hello Degenerates individual on the other side of the screen, I'm Charlie. And I'm Mochi. Recently Panda hit 1000 hours in Chill Out VR, really solidifying that they truly don't have a life. However, this little VTuber is definitely more fit than 90% of the VR community if not more. So Panda wins but at what cost? Best and safest experience in Chill Out VR. You don't want to see flashing lights because you'll start dancing funny. Well, who the duck told you to strap a literal monitor to your face? I want to do part, like share video with friends. Remember to subscribe so Panda won't steal toast. And hit bell so you watch video we make. At least you tried. Number 2. Minecraft Tool Do I really need to explain why this prop is amazing? I do. Well damn, there's 5 main titles, developers, people panda suck up to, moderators, people that beer chat don't have, legends, people who suck up to developers more than panda. This video was a fun watch and I was even feature in it. There's pedo in death team. If I were to describe what chill out VR is I would word it as, VR chat and Gmod had a baby but the daddy doesn't beat it, which Panda has dubbed as IK update or what I like to call it the ego update makes ERP easier than ever before, you don't? I don't give a shit to be honest it's not like I'm actually there talking to you. You can also do 24,000 repetitions of the form exodus. Or you can just sit in front of the mirror in VR and complain about life listening to Overthinker for 13,333.33 repeating times, while looking like a whore, club, nothing new. However the rat does host one of the biggest events in Chill Out VR on a weekly basis, though it doesn't say much given on average the player base is usually at 50 players a week. It's still impressive and no other events even comes close to the numbers Vivi Club normally gets. However I would like to see more events other than parties and drinking nights. I forget people prefer to be in private worlds rather than public worlds, which in turn makes Chill Out VR look like this, when really it's more like this. It really does make Chill Out VR look like a dead game. Uh, this also makes Panda truly the very few YouTubers who can give a reasonable review without making a fool of themselves. Since majority of the reviews for Chill Out VR are people who either hop the bandwagon to get easy views and never touched Chill Out VR afterwards or really had no place to talk about Chill Out VR. It's very inactive. <laughs> I'm talking, it's very inactive. <laughs> I'm talking super inactive. <laughs> it's a very real and good review of Chill Out VR rather than someone saying it's a dead game like that one person did a while ago. I won't be dead honest with you. Me, myself, I don't really like Chill Out VR very much. It's very inactive. But the lag. Why didn't you mention that? You want me to believe you can run VR chat just fine? Even if half of them are in privates, you know who you are. The dev team and moderators are legitimately nice, funny, honest. Meanwhile Panda quite literally dwells in the pits of hell, and has a fan that hasn't stopped since 1989. Why do we have Sleeping Beauty here? Who is she and why is she snoring so goddamn loud? We're already behind schedule with videos as is, how did we manage to miss her? We set everything up, and yet she's here asleep, peacefully snoring away, and why here out of all places? You know what? Let's just try to stay on track, as I was saying. Oh wow, another Vivi Club event. And another. And another. And another. I guess the devil works hard but the fucking rat works harder. We thought this would be an interesting and fun way to learn various martial arts. Starting with Tai Chi or old people martial arts. There are quite a bit of settings we will need to mess with but since this isn't Neos VR, this next section should be easy. Okay I understand why Panda calls them mommy, damn. Mommy sorry, mommy sorry. Hello people who have no lives like Panda, I am Charlie.
Don't throw shade at people who had a bad it's new one thing user to get experience. Confused at something new. It's the platform. Even Panda got lost the first time, but it's another thing to stay in the same world for hour or two and bitch about something that can be solved in four clicks by simply reading. All they needed to do was to read, but that is asking for a lot nowadays. It's clear and evident that they simply just wanted to find something to hate about CVR and if they are willing to throw hate around, they better be able to take insults back at them especially when their comment is public. Being ignorant and being spiteful is two very different things and I can tolerate only one. Panda is too much of a bitch to actually comment on these type of matters so I will. A lot of quality of life improvements has been made for the IK so that you egotistical people can enjoy looking at yourself in the mirror for hours on end. I wonder if Panda has a foot fetish, or I will only mention the most important ones, starting with the new voice chat system, for Texans, the Battle of the Alamo became an enduring symbol of their resistance to oppression and their struggle for independence, which they won later that year. But if VR chat can be run on the Quest 2 with how unoptimized it is, then I am positive that Chill Out VR and its talented dev team will make it work somehow. In other words, stop making lil add-ons to avatars and make them into props you will save everyone's performance you 100 megabyte. But you remember Juno, right Mochi? <coughs> Bitch was crazy as fuck, even forced us to add them into the video. I wonder where she went, she just vanished one day without a word. I don't think I have too much of a choice either. Oh why did you draw this person in the diary panda? <coughs> Never mind. This also means VR chat will no longer be the only social platform out there. God the amount of head panda gave to the ABI team for this video is ridiculous. More than one tracker on a single bone. Which should make your ERP experiences a lot more interesting, or just makes you mirror dwell more. From instead of being tied down to a singular platform and essentially being trapped because all the other options were not viable making VR chat a pseudo monopoly. Meaning you no longer need to socialize and make meaningful relationships to get props. You can now truly play this like VR chat and mirror dwell all you want with the addition of props. <laughs> No, we're not doing this skit again it took Panda and I too long to edit that but what I will say is this. Chill out VR is amazing and it's truly its own unique thing. Calling it a VR chat alternative doesn't do it justice and in fact I think it's a crime to call it as such, and punishable by always getting 1 FPS when mirror dwelling. Your experience in chill out VR is only limited to yourself. Now all that's left is just BIOS and we can truly be a direct competitor of VR chat since, that what people really care about apparently. Hello mirror dwellers, Panda honestly tried to make a full video solely about mirror dwelling, but all the time they spend in TikTok really ducked up their attention span literally making it impossible for them to do so. This should be rather easy to fix and straightforward but since people can't seem to do the simple task of reading, we will guide you. Or you can just play VR chat and be stuck in the loading screen for a couple of minutes. We've watched Panda, we watch learn. Panda learn water bend this whole month. I'm happy they learn and I watch. We have friends watch too, and one friend Panda loves lots even. Why is Panda learning the four elements? In Panda more than what you will accomplish in 10 years. I mean let's be honest here you just sat down and watched the flipping duck ramble for however long this video is. Though we appreciate it, in fact I. While it isn't my goal to force you into chill out VR, in fact I encourage you to explore all the different platforms and see which one you like the most, but you will be surely disappointed. What I want you to realize and understand is being the first is not often associated with being the best. Before there wasn't options and now there is. What took literal years for VR chat to do? It took a group of three individuals about two. Chill out VR is a lot better than most are willing to admit. Pussies. But we also really don't like VR chat. It makes Panda gag. This is like so much different from VR chat. Like normally you go to the black cat. I told you the vibe was different. I just didn't. I just like, didn't go. I just didn't go to the public world much.